Florence, the cradle of the Renaissance, is an art lover's paradise, a city where every corner seems to whisper the stories of great masters and their timeless creations. If you're planning a trip to this enchanting city, pack your curiosity and your sense of wonder, because we're about to dive into the vibrant world of Florence's museums and galleries. Let's start with the iconic Uffizi Gallery, a must-visit for anyone even remotely interested in art. This place is a treasure trove of masterpieces, housing works by Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci. Imagine standing in front of the birth of Venus, feeling the soft breeze of the Mediterranean as you gaze at Venus emerging from the sea. The colors, the details, the sheer emotion captured in that painting. It's like being transported back to the 15th century. But here's a tip. The Uffizi can get crowded, especially during peak tourist season. If you want to avoid the long lines, consider booking your tickets in advance or visiting during the early hours of the day. Trust me, the experience is much more enjoyable when you can take your time to soak in the beauty without feeling rushed. Next up, we have the Academia Gallery, home to one of the most famous sculptures in the world, Michelangelo's David. Standing at over 17 feet tall, this masterpiece is nothing short of breathtaking. The detail in David's muscles, the intensity of his gaze. It's as if he's about to leap off the pedestal and take on Goliath right in front of you. But don't just rush to see David and leave. Take the time to explore the other works in the gallery, including Michelangelo's unfinished sculptures known as The Prisoners. These pieces show the raw, unrefined beauty of the artist's process, and they'll give you a glimpse into the mind of a genius. As you wander through Florence, don't forget to visit the Palazzo Vecchio. This historic palace is not only a stunning piece of architecture, but also a museum filled with art and history. The Hall of the 500, with its grand frescoes and impressive sculptures, is a highlight. You can almost hear the echoes of the political debates that once took place here. And while you're in the area, take a moment to explore the courtyard and the stunning views from the tower. The climb may be steep, but the panoramic view of Florence is worth every step. Now, let's talk about the lesser-known gems of Florence. The Museo di San Marco is a beautiful, serene place that often flies under the radar. This former monastery is home to a collection of works by Fra Angelico, a Dominican friar and painter whose ethereal style is simply enchanting. The cells in the monastery are adorned with his frescoes, and you can almost feel the spiritual energy in the air. It's a peaceful retreat from the hustle and bustle of the city, allowing you to connect with art in a more intimate way. Another hidden gem is the Museo dell'Opera del Duomo, located near the stunning Florence Cathedral. This museum houses an incredible collection of sculptures and artworks related to the cathedral's history. You'll find works by Donatello, Ghiberti, and even Michelangelo. The highlight here is the original facade of the baptistery, which is a sight to behold. The museum also offers a fascinating insight into the construction of the cathedral and the artistic innovations that took place during its creation. If you're a fan of contemporary art, make sure to check out the Museo Novecento. This museum is dedicated to 20th century Italian art and features a diverse collection that reflects the evolution of artistic movements throughout the century. From futurism to arte povera, there's something here to pique the interest of every art lover. The museum's sleek design and spacious galleries make it a pleasant place to explore, and you might even discover a new favorite artist. Of course, no trip to Florence would be complete without a visit to the Pitti Palace and the Boboli Gardens. The palace itself is a magnificent example of Renaissance architecture and houses several galleries, including the Palatine Gallery, which features works by Raphael, Titian, and Caravaggio. But it's the Boboli Gardens that truly take your breath away. Strolling through these beautifully manicured gardens, you'll encounter stunning sculptures, fountains, and even a few hidden grottos. It's the perfect spot to take a break from the art-filled interiors and enjoy the beauty of nature. As you explore these museums and galleries, remember to take your time. Art is meant to be savored, 
and Florence offers an abundance of opportunities to immerse yourself in the creative spirit of the city. Don't hesitate to engage with the art. Ask questions, read the descriptions, and let yourself be moved by the stories behind each piece. And here's a fun fact. Many of these museums offer guided tours, which can provide you with deeper insights into the artworks and their historical context. If you're not keen on a group tour, consider downloading an audio guide or even a specialized app that can enhance your experience. Finally, don't forget to indulge in Florence's vibrant cafe culture. After a day of art exploration, treat yourself to a delicious gelato or a rich espresso at one of the many charming cafes scattered throughout the city. Reflecting on the beauty you've experienced while sipping your drink is the perfect way to end a day in this artistic haven. So, whether you're a seasoned art aficionado or someone who simply appreciates beauty, Florence has something to offer everyone. Each museum, gallery, and hidden corner of this city is a testament to the creativity and passion that has flourished here for centuries. Embrace the art. Let it inspire you. And most importantly, enjoy every moment of your journey through Florence, a city where art truly comes alive.